you doing guys? I'm sitting here in Rackwick, right beside the Claz Nest. Not the Crow's Nest, the Claz Nest. So this is Rackwick, the Isle of Hoy, and I'm sitting looking at this beautiful view at the moment. But I've came up here today to have a look at the Claz Nest. Now if you do come to Orkney, you come to Rackwick, come up to the museums here. This is old houses, this is where people will stay a way back. The census dates back to 1814, which was a long time ago. Right. I wasn't around then, <laughs> obviously. But anyway, I've came up here to have a wee look at the houses. And I want you to join me and come and have a look. So when you do visit Rackwick, please come up to the museums. They're very, very interesting. So we've got the Kras Nest right behind me here. And you've got the old schoolhouse as well. And um, what else? We've got another house as well you can visit. Um, yeah, it's an old school and the teacher's house, that's it. So we're here. I'll let you see the view, guys. Just turn it around here. Let me see the view right behind me here. That's all our Rackwick Bay right down behind me here. I'm pretty chuffed, guys. I've got a wee mic. I've got a wee mic. Yeah. So hopefully you can hear me better in the wind as well. So here I am at Rackwick Bay at the Kras Nest. Hey, come on in and join me. This is very interesting. Check it out, guys. Welcome home. Hi, Gran. <laughs> Check how old this is inside. The old plates here. The old chairs sit on them. There's old fire in the kettle there as well. It's really amusing, isn't it? Some of the old photos of Rackwick. Map here as well. I'll just let you have a look around, guys. It's very interesting. So it says if you ever come to Isle Hoy, come to Rackwick, get up to the museums if you're into that kind of stuff and have a look around. You can see the visitors book there as well. Put your name down on that. Remember, guys, if you do visit here, leave everything the way it is. It's just like it's been untouched for all these years. There's the bed. Another one over there as well. I'm using my gimbal today, guys. I've not used it for ages, so um, I'm a wee bit rusty. But anyway, I just want you to see this video and see what this wee house is like. So we're going to head down to the old school Rackwick School and I'll tell you a little bit of information down there about it. Unfortunately I don't know a great deal about the Kras Nest but obviously it was a family fishing home. As you can see. I'm pretty impressed. Right guys we'll go out and I'll let you see some of this little bit of building here and I'll give you a location for a lovely photo as well always lock the doors and gates behind you guys if you up, come up and visit keeps all the sheep in and the sheep out the houses there we go that's it locked Imagine staying up here, eh? Absolutely amazing. So, if you look away, away in the distance over there, just where my finger is, there's a small burn. They call it the burn. And it runs all the way up to that creek, all the way through the valley. But Burnmouth Bothy is down there. You can stay there free of charge. If you're camping, you can come in there and camp in your tent. The end of the day is, the story goes, 
was a family who stayed in Burnmouth for eight years. And there were two young boys, I think they were aged about seven or eight years old. And what they'd done is they built a raft down in the, the river down there with the burn. And they capsized and they drowned. So we're going to head down to the school next. And that's where the two boys came to the school to get educated. And what they had to do is bring peat slice of peat every day during the winter time to heat the classroom up. So after the wee boys died, drowned in the water unfortunately, it must have been devastating for the family. Anyway, they moved out and Burnmouth Potter was left empty. And uh, now to this day, you can come in here and use it as a bothy. So this is a whole other creek down here. see it's just here we have a 4G pole so this time last year guys we didn't have any network here at all so it was really difficult to make videos this is why I'm back today just to give this wee video out and let you see it all I'm pretty impressed anyway so we're going to take a wee walk up and I'll show you a perfect place for a landscape photo I'll just walk you up and down and I'll let you see it Bear with me two seconds. Well, young guys, a nice wee location here for a photograph. With the tree there just bending over to the right, just against the, the old house, Kaz Nest. So, you come and visit, guys. Get this wee photo. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So just need to move about, position yourself the way you want, and then you go and take your own photograph. So I'll take you down a little bit. And in really windy conditions here, you see the big rolling waves coming right in as well to Rackwick. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a little bit windy today anyway, but not very windy. Only about 20 miles an hour today. Right guys, so we're going to walk down and uh, we'll go down to the old schoolhouse. So we're going to walk down to the old schoolhouse as it says, and I'll let you see in there as well. That's pretty impressive, the little place. It takes you back in time, so it does. Absolutely brilliant. But anyway, catch up with me in a couple of minutes and I'll get down to this wee school and I'll let you see it, okay? Thanks for joining me anyway. Keep with me now. Give us a like and subscribe, by the way, while you're on. But anyway, I'll catch you down to school just shortly. Bye for now. Guys, that's the way to the old man Oi. There's actually several ways up, but it looks too, too long, I think it is. Yep, too. You go this way and you go up round past the other car park and follow the road right up. Anyway, we're going down, down to the school. It's a lovely way you walk, so it is. biggest sea stacks in the UK. Here on my YouTube channel, just uh, have a wee search. I think it's the next video down or the previous, the, sorry, the next one, two down. I think there's actually several with Old Man Ahoy. Uh, get on them, you'll see the drone footage and stuff, but they'll get right round the, the Old Man Ahoy. Planning to go up there shortly, do another wee drone video. It's just the weather guys, the weather's been really bad. But it's a lovely day today. Winds are coming in again Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to peak up to 60 odd miles an hour. Maybe do some storm photography in that day. Anyway guys, enjoy the view here, it's just lovely. Just enjoy the walk. 
So peaceful. Goes. We'll just head into there, into the old school house. So this is the archive centre. I'll have a wee uh, look around, see if we can get in. So, yep, the This is the exhibition room. If they won't learn it, why? Guys, not a lot of people know about this place. A lot of people visit Rackwick, they don't know anything about the wee houses here, with all the information in them. So I'm led to believe, guys, that's where the teacher stayed for the school. And this is the school we're just about to get into. Okay, remember the story I told you about Burn by the Potty and the two wee boys that died in the, in the wee burn? This is a school they used to come to. Let's go. Come in and, and let's see the school. You've got to mind your head when you get in the door. It's really low down. Right, we're in. This is the old school. So you can imagine all the kids sitting there in the desks. Standing up and teaching all the kids. I think there was only about eight to ten kids here, as far as I heard. And this is the teacher here. That's the teacher. Remember, guys, all the kids used to bring a peep. A block of peep every day during the winter time. There you go, that's down there. And that burning the fire to keep the class warm. Here's a photograph of the two boys that drowned in the, the burn. Hey there guys, just to finish the video off, here's the Rackwick Hostel. They stay here under the hostel, youth hostels. Another place to stay. Having that camp in your tents. Happy days. Right guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. It'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, he's an amazingly little phone box there, aren't you? Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> Take care. God bless. Bye bye.